Hello, I'm Heather Pease, and this is my quarter two vocabulary. First, we have scare tactics, and I use it in a sentence. The author uses scare tactics to convince people that they would lose their jobs to immigrants. Next is either or choices. An example is, if you don't pray, then you're going to hell. Slippery slope is next. An example is, if gay marriage is legal, then what's to stop people from marrying their cats? Next is over sentimental appeal, overly sentimental appeals. An example is a picture of a child holding a sign at a gun control protest. Next is ba- bandwagon appeals. An example is everyone else in my grade has a phone, so that means that I should be able to have a phone. Next is appeals to false authority. An example is believe me, the earth looks red from the moon. Next is dogmatism. An example is if you have an F in math, then you are lazy because math is easy. Next is ad hominem. An example is you're wrong because you're dumb. Next is stacking the deck. An example is a car salesman only presents the good things about a car but doesn't say that the AC is broken. Next is hasty generalization. And an example is my Honda broke down so that means that all Hondas are trash. Next we have faulty causality. An example is that A man claims that drinking a lot of a company's beer caused him to not write his book. Next is begging the question. An example is a student saying that their teacher can't give them a C because they're a straight A student. Next is equivocation. An example is someone saying that they wrote the paper themselves when they really just wrote out a copy of someone else's work. Next is non sequitur. An example is you don't love me or you'd buy me that bicycle. Next is straw man, and an example is Senator Smith says that the nation should not add to the defense budget, but Senator Jones says that he cannot believe that Senator Smith wants to leave the nation defenseless. Next is red herring, an example is a reporter asks a question about the Constitution. Rather than address the question, the president talks about culture, race, empathy, gender, love, and emotion. Next, we have faulty analogy, and an example is that people who buy socks are no different from people who bet on race ho- horse racing. They both risk their money with little chance of making a big profit. Next is alliteration. An example is Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Next is illusion, and an example is if only Liam Dis and his 300 were here. And then I faced my personal Waterloo. Next is amplification. An example is adventure. My life is an adventure. My life is an adventure similar to the one of Tom Sawyer. Next is anadiplosis. And an example is I grew up in a village. A village of cows. These cows were our friends back then. Next is anaphora. An example is love is the question. Love is the answer. Love is everything. Next we have anti-metaboly. An example is when you doubt your power, you give power to your doubt. Next is antithesis. An example is that's one step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Next is assonance. An example is one proud round cloud in white high night. (laughs) Next is ascendaton. An example is public speaking is all about self-confidence message impact next is climax an example is the good thing about barcelona is the food what's even better is the mediterranean flair the best is by far the climate next is epistrophe a example is when i when i was a child i spoke as a child i understood as a child i thought as a child next is epizuxis an example is oh horror 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 Next is eponym, and an example is, is she smart? That girl is an Einstein. Next is hyperbole. An example is, the bag weighed a ton. I can give you a thousand reasons. Um, next is metaphor. An example is, all the, all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players. Next is oxymoron. An example is, black milk dark light or likable lawyer next is paradox an example is we spend the time we don't have 
Next is paralipsis. An example is, if you were not my father, I would say you were perverse. Next is parallelism. An example is, what you see is what you get. Personification is next. And an example is, the stars dance playfully in the moonlight sky. Moonlit sky. Or the book cried. Next is pleonasm. An example is, the point he made was blank, empty, and hollow. Next is procatalepsis. An example is, in the past, I faced objection at this point. What convinced them was... Dot, dot, dot. And next is rhetorical question, which a, an example of is, don't we, don't we all work too much? Um, next is simile. An example is, they fought like lions. Next is syndicate. An example is, all these brains in the room and no answer to the problem. Next is classical oration, which is an argumentative structure. And the structure goes intro, background, lines of argument, alternative arguments, and conclusion. Next is Rogerian argument, which is an argumentative structure. And it's like the opposite of stacking the deck. So basically, like, showing the other side of the argument. And next is Tolman argument. And... Um, it's like used in real life arguments. Next is invitational argument. And an example is organic farming can help your health. Next we have tentative. And in, wait no, the um, definition is not certain or fixed or provisional. Next we have imp impotent and it's defined as unable to take effective action or powerless. Next is trifling, which is defined as unimportant or trivial. Next is pendant pedantic and it's defined as too concerned with literal accuracy or formality. Next is barrage and it is defined as an overwhelming quantity of words, blows, or criticisms. Next is torrent, and is defined as strong or fast-moving stream of water or other liquid. Next is brevity, and is defined as concise use of words or writing in speech. Um, next is contend, which is defined as to assert something as a position in an argument or to declare. Next is Perilous, which is defined as full of danger or risk. Next is plausible, which um, is defined as something that is logical or believable. Next is allege, which means to claim that someone has done something wrong, typically without proof. Next is benevolent, which means well-meaning or kindly. Next is candid, which means truthful and straightforward or frank. Next is zealous, which means having or showing zeal. Next is chivalrous, which means acting like a gentleman. Next is reverence, which means a deep respect for someone or something. Next we have truancy, which is the action of staying away from school without a reason. Um, next is expedite, which means to make an action happen, fat, happen sooner or to be accomplished more quickly. Next is adverse, which means preventing success or development. Next is animosity, which means strong hostility. Next is amicable, which means a relationship of good nature. Next is altruistic, which means unselfish concern for other for or devotion to the welfare of others. Next is cordial, which means warm and friendly. Next is blithe, which means showing a casual indifference considered to be callous or improper. Next is convivial, which means something energetic and delightful. Next is concord, which means agreement or harmony between people. Next is cessation, which is the fact or progress or ending. The fact of... <laughs> Wait, it's the finishing or ending of something. 
Next is congruous, which means uh, in agreement or harmony. And next is ambulant, which means cheerful and full of energy. That was my um, quarter two vocabulary. And from this uh, activity, I learned more in depth about the structures of argument and rhetorical devices. And I learned some new words. So thank you for watching.